Hey guys, it's me again, uh, <laughs> uh, with another video during the weekend as usual. Today, we will be looking at what is toxic masculinity. Oh, it's, uh, it's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Well, oh, I hope... That uh, we'll be able to get through this one. Uh, and a uh, little detail before we start. Uh, notice that the like and dislike ratio has been turned off. Uh, just wanted to point that out. Also, <laughs> this video was made like uh, three years ago. So, it's a bit old. But I need content for my channel. Uh, I've been recently going around... Uh, raking things up into my watch later playlist that way I can react to them uh, I may or may not be making a video to tomorrow who knows maybe I'll make two today that way I don't have to make another one tomorrow but uh, I guess that just depends on the way things are going to be today everything has been a little weird and wacky lately because of um, the kitchen renovations and whatnot um but yeah, and uh, also, I've been trying out this new setup. Uh, I don't know if it sounds better or worse or just the same. Uh, I am still at my usual recording place, but uh, I put up uh, blankets around me to see if they'll absorb the sound a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you think, uh, if it sounds better or worse or whatever. Um, yeah, and uh, we'll get right into the video. But yeah, let me know in the comments, just trying out new things, that's all. Alright, well, without further ado, let's get back in. During your travels around the internet, you may have bumped into the term toxic masculinity. It usually shows up in connection with particularly abusive male behavior, so things like harassment, homophobia, sexism, or violent outbursts. But what does it really mean? Well, let's find out. Now since there tends to be so much confusion and defensiveness surrounding these two words... You ever wonder why that is? <laughs> Probably because it's a negative term directly forwarded to men. <laughs> you know, when someone gets insulted, yeah, for shit that they didn't do, yeah, they're typically going to be defensive about it. I think we might need to start off with a really clear example. You know, something that we can all agree on. Okay, yeah. Look, I, I'm i not the biggest fan of Trump, all right? But I don't hate him. I mean, yeah, he's been doing some really shady shit recently, supposedly. But I don't hate him. Not as much as, like, someone would have you to believe. I'm, I don't, like, hate him, hate him. I mean, sometimes I think he's a fucking moron, yeah. But, I mean, you know, but I'm not his biggest fan either. <laughs> and also, you said that uh, something that we'll all agree on, but then you bring up a person that splits the country right down the middle? <sighs> You're a fucking idiot. But honestly, I think he needs his own video. So maybe something else we... What do you think you're doing? Okay, that's gonna work. <sighs> yeah. As he'll say here, this is Biff from the Back to the Future series. Um, but... <laughs> it's, it's I just kind of find it funny how he's using a cardboard cutout villain as his example of, like, toxic masculinity, which, 
let's not be coy. Toxic masculinity is really just another way to hate men. Tell me, Full Macintosh, how much do you really hate yourself? This charming fellow is Biff from the Back to the Future series. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Huh? Think, McFly. Think. Okay, so let's start with the word masculinity itself. Very broadly speaking, masculinity is a set of behaviors and practices that have traditionally been associated with men and manhood in our culture, and that includes both positive and negative things. Toxic masculinity, on the other hand, is a loose term that's used to refer to a subset of those behaviors which are harmful or destructive. Right. So in that sense, when are you going to talk about toxic femininity? Hmm? Oh. Wait, I forgot. There's no such thing with you people. It's often used as a sort of shorthand to describe behaviors linked to domination, humiliation, and control. <laughs> oh, whoa. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> uh, wow, that got kinky. Wow, I, uh, I, I guess uh, stop kink shaming? It's marked by things like emotional detachment and hypercompetitiveness. Okay, and those are negative terms. Why? And how? Well, Biff, somebody already asked me to the dance. Huh, that bug George McFly? I'm going with Calvin Klein, okay? Calvin Klein? No, it's not okay. You're going with me, understand? Get your cooties off of me! When are you going to get it through your thick skull, Lorraine? You're my girl. Yeah, nice straw man, dickhead. Look, the fact of the matter is, Biff is still the bad guy of the movie. He's supposed to be that way. He was written that way. You have nothing to like about him, you moron. It's also connected to the sexual objectification of women, as well as other predatory sexual behaviors. Yeah, because women can't do that, right? <laughs> Fuck off. You know you want me to give it to you. <laughs> Shut your filthy mouth. I'm not that kind of girl. Ooh, well, maybe you are, and you just don't know it yet. It's also linked very closely with aggression, intimidation, and violence. You want to take a poke at me? <laughs> Damn it, Biff! The modifier toxic is used to highlight the fact that these kinds of behaviors carry with them some potentially serious and even deadly consequences. No, I... I no, 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 no. Let's be honest here. You're not talking about the behaviors themselves. You're talking about men in general. Toxic is just another way to hate on men. That's why you invented toxic masculinity. Much of this type of masculinity is relational, and as such, it's mostly defined in opposition to anything culturally associated with women, which is why toxic masculinity is driven by this overwhelming fear of emasculation, that is to say, the fear of being perceived by others as feminine and therefore unmanly. <laughs> There's something yet you would know about. Bitch boy. Many of the most popular male heroes in movies are depicted as engaging in at least a few of these toxic behaviors. Yeah. Now let's both play. But because they're the good guys, their actions are framed as admirable displays of strength, power, and manhood. <laughs> Meet Felix Leiter. Hello. Felix, say hello to Dink. Hi, Dink. Dink, say goodbye to Felix. Mm -hmm. uh, man talk. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, dickwad. <laughs> you found a movie that was recorded over 50 years ago. Women's lib hadn't even fucking happened yet. Hell, the civil rights movement hadn't even concluded. 
It's like doctors. Yeah, I know, say. I know. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. And he oh my god. A teenage boy staring at girls. What a fucking shocker. Somebody give him the death penalty, am I right? Even when those behaviors are not celebrated, it's often framed as acceptable or normal and then excused as just guys being guys or boys being boys. Are you a fucking moron? That scene exists to show him that he's not normal. To show him that he... To show everybody that he's a fucking weirdo. Just to make sure there's no misunderstanding, I want to make something absolutely clear. This term is not a condemnation of men or manhood. Yes, it is. Because for there to be toxic masculinity, there also must be toxic femininity. And since you won't acknowledge that, then yes, it is a condemnation of men. You moron. Because again, toxic masculinity only refers to a particular set of harmful actions and cultural practices. Alright, let's just run through that list that he showed up here. Emotional detachment. Not in a... Not really an inherently negative trait, to be honest. You'll need it if you're like a doctor or a fireman and the such. Hyper-competitiveness. Do you think uh, athletes would have gotten to where they are without that? So, no. Also, aggression is not an inherently negative term either. You can aggressively pursue justice, for example. Intimidation? Yeah. I'd say that's an inherently negative term. Good job. Violence, also an inherently negative term. Sexual objectification. Um, yeah, I can agree it has, like, no positive connotation. And sexually predatory. Also negative term. Um, so about... Uh, I'd say about half your points are bullshit. <laughs> Good job, numbnuts. And none of those behaviors are inherent or biological traits of men. They're okay, so why do you act like it is when it's not? There's nothing toxic about just being a man, but some men do act in toxic ways. Yeah, that's... Yeah, thanks for pointing that out, Captain Obvious. But see, the difference here is that you're trying to say, while sugarcoating it, that all men act like this. So in other words, toxic masculinity is not something that men are. Rather, it's something that some men do. All right, so let's return to our friend Biff here. Now, Biff is an obvious buffoon. I mean, he's a schoolyard bully. He's like a cartoon villain. His actions are easy to spot and understand as damaging, because really, toxic masculinity is what defines him as a character. You heard him, girls. Party's over. At every point in Back to the Future, there might as well be a giant neon sign hanging over Biff's head that says, hey, this is the bad guy. If you acknowledge that, then why did you use him as an example, you idiot? So that's really easy. But things are rarely so clear-cut. In the real world, all kinds of men can participate in toxic masculinity. No, 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 no. I think what you meant to say is all men participate in toxic masculinity, right? Including seemingly normal guys who might also be nerdy or charming or witty or intelligent. Since toxic masculinity is a set of behaviors and not a biological trait, the real men who participate are not really one-dimensional character archetypes like Biff. Yes, exactly. So why did you use him as an example? Again! And they usually don't do all of the things on the list. Okay, well, sometimes they do, but usually that's not the case. Fuck off! You think Trump is going around beating up people? Please. Is that your attempt at a joke? Because I'm not laughing. Nobody is. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Undoomed just showed up. There's a mistaken impression out there that toxic masculinity means that everything about masculinity is somehow toxic. 
but that is not the case. In fact, the term toxic masculinity is used very deliberately to try to differentiate the more damaging or destructive male behaviors from more positive male behaviors. No, it's used deliberately to degrade all men. Again, we can all see through your lies, so just stop it already. When it comes to this term, it's really important to understand that it's used to reinforce the fact that there are many different types and formulations of masculinity. Or as R.W. Connell puts it, different masculinities. Yeah, because if a woman says it, it's automatically true, right? And since there are many ways to practice masculinity, we as men can choose not to engage in the more toxic behaviors and instead choose to pursue more positive, empathetic, and cooperative forms of masculinity. Now we only just scratched the surface here, but I'll leave some links and resources. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to be supporting your... Patreon, give me a fucking break. Oh, uh, Lord. You know, I think I'm going to drink cyanide with my dinner tonight. Well, uh, video's over. You know, if you enjoyed it, uh, <laughs> leave a like, I guess, and uh, subscribe. Um, I honestly don't know what to say. It's gotten a lot worse, um, in recent years. Um, fucking Yahoo wants to ban Stormtrooper outfits for little kids. Um, parents are starting to force their kids to be tra transgender. It's just, ugh. It's bad. <laughs> it's really fucking bad now. And, you know, it's really hard to be, like, non-biased when, when talking about these subjects because, um, you know, I give the left a lot of shit. Um, but I also try to give the right a lot of shit for any stupid shit that they may be doing. But it's just like, as I keep on saying, the left has a lot more shit. <laughs> but uh, there are points on the left that I agree with. You know, like global warming, stuff like that. But, you know, there's just a lot more... When you say it, like... um. There's just a lot more lies and bullshit going on on that side, you know? Um, I'm neither left nor right. Uh, I'm I'm in the middle. You know, I take uh, points from both sides. And uh, it's just like... I don't know. It's kind of hard to articulate. <laughs> you know, some of my friends uh, were like, uh, dude, you should start using scripts. You talk way too slow. But, I mean, it, it's kind of like what I like about these videos. I get to talk freely. I don't uh, really have to follow anything. I just get to speak my mind. And, yeah, it's chaos uh, and unorderly sometimes in my videos, but, you know, I don't know, I just like talking freely, <sighs> but, yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video, um, man, I need to start editing these, <laughs> uh, I can't edit to save my life, but if you enjoyed this video, um, Leave a like, subscribe, again. Uh, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Um, there may or may not be another video coming out today. Who knows? Anyways, as always, I'll see you on the flip side.
Bye-bye.